Good morning, everybody. This is Matt with Snooze at Home, and today we're going to be doing something that I really should be doing uh, already, which is talking about snooze, just regular old snooze. I It occurred to me that I was doing a lot of content on nasal snuff and sort of ignoring snooze, partially. I mean, there are a lot of videos about making your own snooze, talking about snooze, but... Uh, I don't know. I feel like the channel has become sort of snuff heavy and we have to rebalance ourselves somehow. <sighs> so we're going to be doing snooze reviews now. These are not first impressions. I use snooze far more frequently than I use nasal snuff. I already know what's going on with these. We're just going to be talking about snooze in my familiar style and I hope you guys like it. And of course, what better snooze to begin with than, not a 10, but Kronen. This means uh, the crown, I believe, in Swedish. It's a loose snooze. This is also available in a portion and a strong. We are going with the loose today because that's what I like. Let's take a look at the packaging. Beautiful green label. If you've never seen a loose snooze can before, they are, some of them, a lot of them have plastic nowadays, but they are this paperboard bottom, gold plastic top, it says Swedish snus at the top, Svensk snus, and it's altogether a really attractive little package. Sweetest match, of course, will probably never make an ugly can, being the front runner to snooze and all. Although they have been bought out, I think, last year or two years ago by uh, Philip Morris. So it's a whole new era, guys. We're living in the nicotine pouch era. What a sorry time to be in. But hopefully I can show off enough snooze to get you guys interested. People say that this is the pickle snooze. And I don't believe that's so. I'm a great enjoyer of pickles. I really like half sours, full sours. All that kind of stuff. I love eating it in sandwiches. Everything, everything, everything. Uh, before we actually smell, let's take a look at the grind. Swedish match grinds tend to be a very clay-like. This one a little bit crumblier. Very nice. Actually, let's really get in. I want you guys to see this. And pardon the lighting. Everything is in disarray in the garage at the moment, so we're using some auxiliary lighting. Sort of a snooze review by candlelight. Let me put some of this out into my hand so you can see what we're dealing with. This is what I would call Swedish matches sort of uh, medium grind. There are some loose snooses that can get very, very coarse. I myself prefer coarser loose snooze. But that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy a fine one in the wild, and it's nowhere near as fine as something like Prima Fint or Rorilaket, which is basically clay. The smell from the tin... ...does not smell like pickles whatsoever. It smells... people say that there is dill in here, and there is dill in here, like uh, you can tell. But the first smell that you get is violet, and it's very clear, and it's very crisp. It's undeniably violet. And there's really not a whole lot of dill in this. It, it's You can smell it, but it doesn't have that like extremely sharp herbal smell that dill has. It's just this like little dillish wind on the horizon. This stuff is way more floral, way more violet flavored than dill or anything like that. Cronin used to be, I believe, the budget snooze in Swedish Matches lineup, or one of the budget snooses. There's also Mustang and things like that. But nowadays, it is just a completely premium snooze. Without further ado, let's have ourselves a pinch of it. I'm gonna go with a pinch. I think that the pinch will give me a lot better, uh, a lot stronger flavor sooner. This is really weird doing this after coming from snuff reviews, because I really do have to sit with the snooze to really get a good impression of it. If you wanted to, you could bake a Prilla or roll up a little portion using Filt, the Roll Your Own Snooze Paper, made in Iceland and available in the description below. Sponsors, doesn't sponsor the channel, but every pack you buy does support the channel. 
but I encourage you whenever possible to just use a little... They call it the hillbilly pinch. This is just a, a pinch. Americans will recognize this as the dip pinch. Snooze bakes pretty easy. Cheers. See what it's all about. I know what it's about. It's Cronin. I've had it a million times. I like it. I will see you on the couch in 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, and that's really about as much as we're going to get from Cronin. So what do I think? It's not a pickle snooze. Not whatsoever. I don't know why this myth started about it being a pickle snooze. I never got pickles from it. There is the faintest hint of dill, but that's really far back beyond all the other notes that you get from Cronin. It's a good snooze. Nicotine strength is middling. It's a very comfortable loose. It stays fit pretty nicely without mud sliding or getting stains everywhere. It tastes mostly violet. It tastes like a Chowards candy, if you ever had one of those. There is a, a dillish like essence, but this could this is sort of part of a part of a greater bouquet that lies behind the violet. It's something I kept trying to place it while I was here with the snooze. It's something like Indian incense, uh, like those, uh, I forget what they're called, the dupe cones, the Nag Champa incenses. Um, what it reminds me of, and this is kind of strange, is sort of like sucking on one of those acid cigars, like an unlit acid cigar. If you've ever smelled the essences that they put into the tobacco when they're done making the cigar, that's what Cronin has a lot of. Um, it's very faint, don't go into this expecting that kind of flavor, expecting that kind of aroma. The principal one is violet still. There's really not a lot of tobacco here to speak of either. Um, it... Yeah, it's just mostly violet. Uh, if there is any tobacco, it's just like a a really soft, like burly-ish note, but it leans more towards like the zestier aspects of burly, the sourer aspects of burly rather than having any clear definitive like chocolate or nutty note. If I know it's green, it doesn't, <laughs> it's not a dill snooze. It really is a, just a violet snooze with some more stuff going on. Really perfectly adequate snooze. And it, in fact, it is one of my favorites from Swedish match, at least as far as their normal lineup goes. I like it more than Rotolacket. I like it more than Primo Fint. Uh, I don't like it more than Yotobor's Rapia and Eton, but everybody has to have favorites. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. It's my first time doing this kind of thing. And I hope you will join me next time for some more tobacco content. Remember, if you like this kind of video, I do have some stuff that I sell to support the channel in the links in the description. If you prefer to support without all that, I do have a Patreon, but be warned, I am really lazy about updating it. So it's purely to see more content like this produced rather than to get any kind of special benefits. I really do want all the information, everything I produce to be whoop, open to everybody. Of course, I also have a website if you prefer to read these kind of things, and you do have some tutorials and some guides on there as well. Peace.